Welcome. Today I want to spend a couple of minutes talking about how the neural tube forms and what it means to the development of the neural system. To start with we have to understand what an embryo looks like when it's about you know, the size of a full stop. An embryo is fundamentally three tissue layers at the very beginning. The upper layer being the ectoderm The lower layer being the endoderm and the middle layer being the mesoderm. And the important part to this story is the ectoderm. In the end the ectoderm is going to form fundamentally all of the nervous tissue. This period of embryolic, embryonic development way back about three weeks or two or three weeks after conception is a period of very rapid change and this is a period when cells are dividing at enormous rates higher than any other time in the development of a human and really what happens is a small area of the ectoderm well, in fact, two small areas of the ectoderm, start to divide at slightly higher rates than other regions of the ectoderm. And these two areas start to pile up to form sort of ridges. And if we looked at a vertical view down on top of this embryo, we would see the ectoderm sort of looking like this. And then these two hills would be forming as ridges down the back of the embryo. And the driving force to make these ridges form is, uh, is a small structure just below here, and I've sort of drawn it a little bit large, called the notochord. And the notochord is a really critical structure in driving development. It doesn't actually form anything and its residual in the adult human is very small. But it's the little growth factors, the little proteins it releases that stimulate cells to change their divisionary patterns and to start differentiating that make the difference. This is really the government system or the governance system to the changing structures within this tissue. Now getting back to these two ridges that are forming in the ectoderm here, as they form they actually start to also embed themselves down into the underlying mesoderm. And if we go a little further on in the journey, these ridges in the end will start to form over and to form what you can now see as sort of a tube structure. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to redraw this area of the embryo here and show you what it looks like just a little bit further down the track. So since we're doing ectodermal structures in red, I'm now going to draw that tube here. And that tube actually embeds itself below the ectodermal top surface. Here it is here. To make sure you understand it's a tube, it's got a, a, a wall thickness and an inner core to the tube. And that tube is of ectodermal origin. Remember, it's now embedded in the underlying mesoderm. It has the notochord still sitting just below it here. And way down on the other side here, way down on the other side, three quarters of a millimetre away or less, you see the endoderm. And this is the beginnings of the neural tube. In that process of forming the neural tube, two little important clusters of cells also form like a, a little crest above, above the neural tube. And they are called the neural crest.
and you notice that I've drawn them in red too because they are actually of ectodermal origin. So these, these cell structures are all of ectodermal origin. So we now have a neural tube embedded in mesoderm above the endoderm and this process has been driven by the growth factors that are released from this notochord below. Even at this very early stage this neural tube is starting to separate into a functional groups. In fact the functional groups are fundamentally retained throughout the development of the neural system and just to show you that functional arrangement before we finish everything to the ventral side here all of this ventral side here will be motor systems whilst everything to the dorsal surface up here will be sensory systems and as you can see the neural crest is also to the dorsal and uh, the neural crest will play an integral role in the development of the sensory side of the nervous system. Thank you.